and have moved the ball down to the mule shoe about 46 yard line or 41 yard line sprint out to the left side looks fires and it's intercepted in there by the mules the mules across the 45 down to about the 49 yard line and that's uh, Saul Sanchez on that interception and uh, the little sprint out to the left side that picked up a first down a few moments ago Bob this time intercepted by Saul Sanchez and he runs the ball back out to the Mule Shoe 49 yard line so the first turno turnover of the night and a big play there for the Mules actually they have the ball right on the midfield strap so the Mules up to the line of scrimmage quickly no score in the ball game the Mules have just intercepted the pass and have run it back to midfield Wide outs to both sides, lots to both sides. Baca, Junior Baca, the running back. There's the option to Baca. He's out across midfield, across the 40, across the 30, across the 22, 23 yard line, and he's pushed out of bounds, and he'll have about a 27 yard pickup, Bob, on that play. 27 yards, and it is a first down for the Mules, and that's an option to the left side. Good running, good pitch. And 27 yards, the mules down on the 23-yard line now of the Mustangs. Just ran out of room there, Bob, or he might have gone all the way. Caleb Wood, the quarterback, Ryan Johnson, the center. Here's a snap into the line, and about uh, maybe two or three as Wood keeps the ball, and good defense there by the Mustangs, and... It's going to be about maybe one or two. Let's see where they place the marker here. One yard pickup, second and nine. So last week, you know, uh, Wood ran for over 200 yards against Littlefield, mainly on that play right there, and Denver City obviously has been working on that. So it's second and nine. Junior Baca, the running back. Slots to slot over on the left side, wide receiver on the right, keeping the ball, and this time Wood keeps it for about two, maybe three. So let's call it a third down, and it's going to be a third and about six. Three yards picked up on the play, four Bob says. Actually, it looks like about five and a half for the first down. Mules up to the line of scrimmage. Ball inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. No score in the ball game. Denver City trying to bow up on defense here. Junior Baca, the running back. Caleb Wood calls out the signals. Gets everyone set. Third down and close to six. And there's a keeper in there by Baca. Breaks the tackle straight ahead. And he's on his feet, and he is close to the first down, Bob. We'll see where they mark that. It may be, uh, may be a little short. It's going to be fourth and one. That's what it's going to be. You know, Baca, Baca broke a couple of tackles on that play. He was hit behind the line of scrimmage and ended up picking up about six yards. And the first big offensive series of the game here for the Mules. There's a handoff straight ahead. Baca going outside, and I think he has a first down, but it's close. He may not have. He tried to cut wide around the left side and did not make it. It's very close. Yes, it will be a first down. Let's give him a yard and a half on that play. So just enough for the first down as the Mules keep this drive alive. Two first downs. That's what Denver City had before the interception. Mules use substituting now. They set up their offense quickly. Ball on the 13-yard line. Down in Denver City territory. The Mules trying to score first here. All right, Ray Martinez in it running back this time. Caleb Wood, the quarterback. Now he looks back. Taking some time to get this play off. Johnson snap is good. And there is a flag, though. So the Mules could not get that play off, and that'll cost them five. That'll move the ball back to the 18-yard line. It'll be first and 15 now for Mules U. Those hurt. Looked like uh, Caleb was planning on putting the ball in the air then, and I wouldn't be surprised if we don't do that here. Slots to both sides now. First down and 15 to go. Denver City has them all bunched up in the line. 
four-man front, five actually with a linebacker in the middle of the line. Plenty of time. Now Wood running. He looks, fires man out there, and it is a touchdown, and the Mules have scored first. Okay. That's Reyes. Uh, is that uh, Xavier Reyes? What happened then is Caleb Wood – had to leave the pocket. He had pressure all over him. He waited until he had a man open, and finally Xavier Reyes got behind the defense, took the pass, walked into the end zone, and the Mules lead 6-0. Point after try. Touchdown, Mules. And now Nacho Elizalde in the game. Elizalde will do the kicking, and he kicked very well last week, as all season. Kicks this one, and I believe he may have missed that one. He missed it. He just didn't hit the ball. It uh, came off the side of his foot. So it's 6 nothing. Mules U with 7-14 remaining. The Mules will kick off to Denver City. <laughs> Slot receivers to both sides. Junior Baca back in at running back. Ryan Johnson the center. There's a handoff. Handoff wide out to the right side. And good running there by Junior Baca to pick up three, maybe four. Looked like Denver City had him surrounded, and he ran past a couple of would-be tacklers, and Junior picks up three yards on the play. So it'll be second and seven coming up now for the Mules. Out of bounds on that play, so the clock has stopped at 5.36 here, remaining in the first quarter with the Mules up 6-0. By district game here in Cooper of Lubbock at Pirate Stadium. And a little quick pass and some running room for about well, first down. Good run there by the Mules after the catch. A little swing pass out to the right side. And let's see who the who caught that, Bob, is. To the 33-yard line. Number. Okay, Xavier Reyes on the on the catch and a good run by Xavier after catching the ball. Picked up about 12 on the play and that'll be a first and 10. on top 6-0 of these Denver City Mustangs. Ball on about the 33 yard line of Denver City. Mules have had good field position here. Oh, that was a a counter that uh, Baca is loose inside the 20 and oh, he's one man's one hand brought him down inside the 10. Bob, that looked like a it was a misdirection play, a counter over on the right side, but it looked like a little uh, a little problem in there on that handoff between Wood and Baca. Baca, it was not smooth looking at all, but Baca blo uh, broke a couple of tackles, ran past a couple more, and picked up, what, 26 yards on the play. So the ball down on the about eight-yard line, first and goal for the Mules. They lead 6 nothing. They've had... Uh, Good field position a couple of times here out around midfield, and they've taken advantage once. There's a handoff. There goes Baca, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Seven yards out, and Baca just lowered his head and ran straight ahead. And the Mules lead 12 nothing. I'm sure they'll go for two here. So, Bob, good field position, and we've taken advantage of both times. Some good hard running by Baca, and a, a good job on, by Xavier Reyes after... That little swing pass out to the side to pick up a first down. Uh, Baca has 68 yards already. Okay, so the Mules lined up in formation to go for two here on the extra point try. They lead 12-0. Baca sets up to the wide side or the left side of Wood. Wood looks to the sideline. Two seconds on the play clock. The Wood looks, fires, has a man out there. Oh, way over everybody. That one, <laughs> that was way over everyone. So incomplete, and the Mules do not uh, pick up the two-point conversion. They lead 12 to nothing with five minutes uh, remaining here in this first quarter, and they will kick off to Denver City again. Elizalde will be doing the kicking off, and that's a short kick right there, and the uh, Mules have it, I believe. That is Ross. And they got it, yes. A little a little pooch kick over over the front line, and the Mules have worked on that play, Bob, you can tell. They got over in a hurry. Ross recovered it just before it went out of bounds. So the Mules have the ball again, this time on the 49-yard line in Denver City territory. So, Bob, this could be big here if we can convert this one. 
that was a, a strange onside kick. It was it uh, it was over that front line and landed just in bounds, and the mules caught it just before it went out of bounds. So that was a planned play. First and ten to go. Mules with the excellent field position for the third time in a row here. They lead 12 nothing. They converted twice. Junior Baca in at running back. Back to pass this time. We're going for it all this time, Bob. There's a pass, and we had two men out there, but the pass incomplete falls between them, so it'll be second and ten. Xavier Reyes, I believe, was the intended receiver. Oh, he had two. And he was a little bit in front and short. Plenty of time then. Good protection for Caleb Wood, and just didn't get that one to work. It's second down and ten to go now. The ball's still on the 49-yard line. In Denver City Territory, after the onside kick works for the Mules. Caleb Wood has a man in motion. Caleb will keep the ball and picks up maybe three, maybe four. Straight ahead, it'll be third down and about six. So what he got is four, so it'll be third and six. They're doing a good job so far of stopping Caleb from... Uh, Running that quarterback drawer, that fake up the middle, Bob. They've worked on that. You can tell Denver City has. Probably a passing down with third down and six to go. Probably two down territory. Looking. Man out there. And it's complete. And Austin Ross for the first down. And he has the ball down close to the 30. Good pass that time by Caleb Wood. Good catch by Austin Ross. He made sure he had both hands on that ball and stepped out of bounds and picked up about 12 on the – no, I say about eight on the play. But it is a first down. The Mules have the ball down on the 33-yard line of the Mustangs. This drive still alive. They call that play first down play, and that's exactly what Ross – Ray Martinez in it running back for the Mules this time. He's in motion. And there goes Wood. Wood. This time on his feet for the first down inside the 20, down close to the 15, about the 16-yard line. That time we faked the pitch to Ray Martinez, and uh, for the first time tonight, running up the middle, Caleb Wood gets open, picks up about, what, 17? Yes. 17 yards on the play, and the ball is on the, looks like 13-yard line, 13 and a half maybe. First and 10 to go, and you set of downs for the Mules. In the backfield with Wood, and Baca set up to the wide. All right, back in is Baca again. Baca will take that counter, and he is loose. He's loose. He's across the 10. He's close. He's into the end zone, I believe. He knocked down an official as he went in, and let's say it is a touchdown. So the counter play to the right side, and untouched was Junior Baca, and the official, the official fell down or was knocked down, and and he may have knocked out one of the Denver City defensive boys as he went down. But a big touchdown run there for the Mules. And they have their third touchdown of the night. They lead 18 nothing, And they will try the kick again here. Elizalde, who missed the first extra point try. Then the Mules uh, missed on a two-point conversion. And they'll kick the ball here. And it's down. It looks good this time. It is good. And the Mules convert for the first time on the extra point try. And after the onside kick, the Mules... Lead 19-0. They've taken three in from about 50 yards out. They're playing opportunistic bas or f football right now, Bob. And and that 19-0 lead with 339 has Denver City down in a hurry. Great field position. They have it on the 41-yard line in Mustang Territory. Right side of the field for him. Kevin. So the Mules lead 19-0, and they have an opportunity to put more points on the board. Looks like uh, Ray Martinez. Is that Ray in there at running back, or is that Junior? That's Ray Martinez this time at running back. Wood, the quarterback. Lions done a good job of protecting Wood and Wood. Quarterback draw. He's loose. He's loose. He's across the 20 to the 15, the 14 yard line and tackle. So. Drop back to pass the ball, and Denver City drop back and pass in, in, in the secondary and pass uh, defense formation, and about a, what, 26-yard run this time for Caleb Wood, and he really hurt. He made over 200 yards last week against Littlefield with that play, and he cut loose with it then. 
So another first down and the ball on about the, what, 20, 20 or 21 yard line, 20 it looks like, down on the field. First and 10 for the Mules. Ray Martinez, a running back. There's a handoff to Martinez. Good hard run. Picks up maybe a couple, maybe three. Good hard tackle in there, but Denver City's number 77 on that play. Picked up two. Second and eight coming up. So second and eight. Mules on the attack, leading 19-0. They've had field position all night. Everything's really worked out with the wind here in this first quarter so far. In a second night, let's see what the Mules choose to do here. Double twin set for the Mules. Wide side to right side. Wood calls the signals. Hands off to Baca. Baca, hands Baca. Right side. into the end zone. Touchdown. Another little counter, Bob, it looked like. And, and again, Baca goes all the way in. 14 yards. Is that 14? 14 yards out, he goes into the end zone, his third touchdown of the night, and the Mules lead 25 to nothing here in the first quarter. Looks like, Bob, we're uh, 99 yards for Junior on, what, nine carries? Eight carries. So a great game so far for Junior Baca. And we'll be kicking the ball again. Kick looks good. Is it good? It is good. So this time Elizalde puts it right through there. Mules up 26 to nothing. 2.15 remaining first quarter. Okay. It'll be first and 10 for the Mustangs. Quarterback straight back again. And good, good. That was Saul Sanchez. A big uh, loss back there. And Saul was on a corner blitz, and I mean, it was a huge loss from the 26 to the 37. And actually, I'm not sure David ever saw it. So it's going to be second and long. Second and 21, quarterback again wants to throw it. Now he throws it again. And incomplete. Almost intercepted over there by Ray Martinez. And that was excellent coverage there by Ray. That was Ray Martinez, 21. Okay, now we have third and 21 again for Denver City as that big loss moved them back all the way to their 37. So third down now and 21. Third and 21. Now back, empty backfield. Yeah. Now he rolls yeah, he's going to have – well, uh, well, it looks like we're going to let him run all the way in for a touchdown, Ronnie. And he just ran in the end zone for a touchdown, and we have a flag for something. And uh, that was 37 yards, but uh, Mules just didn't tackle him that time. But let's see what the penalty is. This is something after the touchdown. Because it was a block in the back, back up near the 11. It was so far away from the play, I'm surprised that, that the, the, the Denver City kid even did it. Let's see what the call is. And they're going to call it a dead ball. Dead ball, that's what I thought. So, so that's going to give them the touchdown. So that's a touchdown, and that will be applied on the kickoff. It was kind of in the middle of the field. This quarterback is a big, tall kid, and he's pretty good, pretty good runner, but uh, he just reversed his field and went 37 yards for touchdown. And then, and then personal foul, Denver City. He looked like he's running very hard at all. But... Boy, those, I don't know how long these legs are, but ever how long they are, he's covered a lot of territory in a hurry. The Denver City Mustangs are going to attempt the kick on the extra point. So uh, they're lining up for the extra point. And they will kick. Six, 66. And I think the Mews may have been offside. And if he touched the. I don't know what the call is here. 
so they'll get another opportunity. They're there. gonna probably go half the distance. And they do call the mules offsides. Yeah, offsides mules. Now they're probably gonna go for two, Ronnie. Well, yeah, they wound up wound up going for two. Yeah. Turnover is they're definitely gonna go for two now that it's only. Uh, so that'll change it to a yard and a half, and the, uh, half the distance. Charge, uh, will be they didn't make it, but the mules were offsides. So the mules were offsides. They sent one wide receiver wide to the. Okay, left, now we have a right, wide receiver to each, each side, back, so and looks like a power running back. And they hand it off, and he just walks into the end zone. So that makes it 26 to 8. We'll have the kickoff in just a moment, and there will be a penalty on the Mustangs. First and 10 from uh, the Mule 28, put a man in motion. Now the quarterback wants to throw it deep. Now, now he's going to throw it, and it is a touchdown. And that was number number two. This Keyshawn Hawkins is an excellent receiver. He just put it up there uh, from the 28-yard line, and he just jumped up and caught it in the end zone. So Denver City is getting back in this game in a hurry after trailing 26 to nothing. And, of course, all those missed extra points are hurting the mules, too. So it's 26 to 14. Back deep is Martinez and Baca about their 12. And uh, he has the wind, and he kicks it deep. It's going to be fielded on the five by Martinez. Starts upfield. Now starts outside. And good run back this time by Martinez. And uh, no fumble this time. And he he caught that one on the five. Martinez did and ran it all the way to about 38. So that's a very 33-yard uh, uh, run back there. Actually, actually 34. It's going to be first and 10 on the 39. So the Mules need to answer that touchdown, those two touchdowns. Twins to both sides. One running back. Now put Bach in motion. There's a pitch outside. And he has good running room. First down. He goes from the 39, and let's see where they put it. Okay, that's going to be, uh, looks like about 11 yards, Ronnie. 12. We have a final, Shallow Water 41, Dalhart 13 in 3A action. So, first and 10 for the Mules. They're up to the line of scrimmage. Wins to both sides. And Baca, Baca may be gone. I don't think they're going to catch him. And he's in there for the touchdown. So that was 48-yard run by Junior Baca. 160 yards for Baca. So that was big right there, Ronnie, as we, we answered uh, one of their touchdowns in a hurry. And let's see what we do on the extra point. Looks like uh, Elizalde will be kicking. Elizalde. Ross holding. Ross looks at Elizalde and he says he's ready. Ross now signals inside. Yeah, we're waiting on the snap. There's the snap, the kick. And it looks good, and it is. So, so 33 to 14. So uh, that makes the Mule uh, fans on the other side and the coaches feel a little better to pick up that touchdown as Denver City was really getting the momentum. Probably throw the ball here as it's going to be third and uh, eight to go. With 301 left in the first half, the Mules leading 33 to 14. So big, big play here coming up for the Mules. Baca has checked in. Uh, Junior Baca is in the backfield. He's to the wide side or the left side of Wood. Now Wood, Wood drops that, wants forward. to throw it. Now throws a long pass down, down there, and it caught. is caught over there. See, Ronnie, that was from 47. Who was that? Austin Ross. My goodness. That was from the 47 of Denver City to about the 15. Five. 
32 yards. That was Austin Ross from Caleb. And Caleb led him just right then and threw into the wind, but excellent throw there. 35 yards. There's Baca. He may score. He's going to be. No. Well, I thought they just uh, pushed him out of bounds. Uh, five. Okay, what Yeah, Ronnie, he went, for, he went from the 15. Five. So that's about a nine-yard uh, Nine yards. And so he's going to like a short. Did they give him a first down, Ronnie? The down marker short of the far end of the uh, okay, first uh, six. Well, I guess it is. I get, oh, they did. First and goal from the five. It's up to the left side or the wide side of Wood. And Wood keeps it. And he's going to be down to about the two. Yeah, it looks like they're going to mark him at about the two. Bring up second down and goal from the two-yard line. Ronnie looks like a Denver City player down. Player down on the field. And it'll be second and two, uh, second and goal from the two count. Yeah, now he's going to keep it, and he's in there. Good job there, good blocking, and uh, they just kind of caved him in on that right side, and Caleb just walked in from the two. 20 first downs for the Mules. So we'll have the extra point. Uh, and like Ronnie said, if we get this one back, we got that touchdown, two touchdowns back that they got earlier in the second quarter. Elizalde. Ross holding. And there's a kick. It, it looks good, and it is. 207 remaining. It's 40 to 14. And it's first and 10. Ball on the 45 yard line. Down in Denver City territory. The Mules running the clock. They have the lead in this by district game. Good crowd over on the Mule Shoe side and also on the Denver City side. In motion. There goes a pitch. And we have some running room out across the 40, out across the all the way down to the 35 and in the 30 yard line another first down and is that ray martinez on the pitch good run by ray picked up 15 bob on the play another first down for the mules what is that 25 first downs 14 uh, bob says on the gain and that's i think 25 first downs for the mules Absolutely. Double twin set. First and ten to go. High snap, little swing pass out, little screen out to the left side. Oh, what a, what a run right there by Bob. Let's get that receiver. Is that Barone? Adam Has he come up? Yeah, it is. All right. Is that Barone? No, it's not. Barone? No. One. Uh, 81. Okay. Barone. Okay. So a good, good catch, good run. First down. He picked up about uh, 12 on the play. First and 10 to go. Ray Martinez in it running back now. Mules lead 40 to 14. And there's a handoff. And <laughs> Baca almost fell down, Bob. He slipped as he cut back. Still picked up about five on the play. So a good run there. It looked like he would lose a yard or two. And uh, he uh, he cut back, and his body almost outran his feet on that one, but he did gain his momentum and picked up uh, close to five yards. Give him four on the play. Second down and six. Ball down close to the 10 on the 11-yard line. Muleshoe took this opening uh, second-half kickoff, and they've taken the ball all the way down from the 26 to the 11-yard line of Denver City. There's Caleb. And the pitch this time. Baca is brought down. Almost looked like a face mask. Maybe not. Boy, they had the whole team out there then on that pitch, and they stopped us for a five-yard loss. So they had everything covered in, Bob. We wasn't much we could do on that. We lost, uh, lost five yards on the play. So it's a third down coming up now. Third down and long. And I would imagine we'll... Try to put the ball down around the end zone this time. We'll wait and see what they do. Junior Baca running back. 
calls the signals, gets his offense set. Caleb Wood now takes a snap, looks, steps back, fires, man, wide open, touchdown. Option pass, we were covered on that option, and I guarantee you, great fake by Caleb Wood. He uh, looked at his uh, pitch man and then just raised up and fired the ball in the end zone. No one around, and so it is a, uh, what, 16-yard touchdown pass. And let's get the receiver there, Bob. Sanchez on the catch. Okay, he was wide open in, and... And so the Mules score again. They lead 46-14. It's going to be hard for Denver City to come back on this. 7:22 left in the third. Here's a kick. Elizalda is good. And it's 47-14, and the Mules will kick off. 1st and 10 to go with the ball on the 39-yard line in Mule Shoe territory. And there goes Junior and... He fumbled, I think. I think he lost the football. He did. Denver City recovers the fumble, Bob. Baca was hit just at the line of scrimmage, had a yard on the play, and then fumbled. And uh, it'll be Denver City's football. Well, we looked out there once when they intercepted the pass, and we got roughing the passer, and that gave us a first down instead of Denver City having the ball down close to the goal line. But that's, uh, what, two fumbles we've lost tonight? That's four turnovers still for the Mules tonight. So we've lost uh, the ball on four turnovers tonight, and I'm sure no one's very happy with that. We had six turnovers in the loss to Littlefield last week. So here here comes uh, David with the ball, and he cuts up field. He may score. He's finally tackled down around the 12, and we had, we had men all around uh, David then. Clancy David, and he just turned up field for about 15, 20 yards. We'll see. 19? Uh, no, 19, uh, about uh, uh, 20, 22. 22 yards, and David just cut inside. We had uh, would-be tacklers everywhere, and we just didn't get him tackled. And a 22-yard pickup and a first down for Denver City, and they're on the 13-yard line of the Mules. So, 407. First and ten, two running backs in the backfield with uh, David. David takes the ball. He'll run again. This time he's hit and hit hard right there at the line of scrimmage. And that's number 75, Atwood, on the tackle. Good tackle by Atwood, uh, unassisted. And two yards picked up on the play. The ball goes down to the, uh, well, about the 12-yard line. Two yards picked up in there for Denver City, and they have a second and eight. Clock still running, 331, third quarter. Mules up 47-14, Denver City on the move. Cutting around the inside, and he is all the way down inside to five this time. Big David is, and I, I'm not sure they've run him enough, Bob. We can't get him down. All the way inside to five to the two. First down and goal for Denver City. 19 here. Mules, leads. Ten yards there for David. You know, they got behind, and uh, they thought they had to go to the pass, but I think they could have run the football more. And David is a runner. He's a good runner. Big six-foot-five-inch quarterback. And there's a handoff number 12, and uh, he's into the end zone, I think, for a touchdown. Is he? They call it a touchdown. It is a touchdown. So a three-yard run in there, another first down for Denver City, and they now have cut the gap to 47-20. to 20. Still a lot of time left in this ball game. A good drive by Denver City and another turnover by the Mules in that set that up. And it's 47-20, to 20, and let's see if they go for one or two here on the extra point try. Twins to the left side. Milligan uh, was the uh, quarterback at one time for Denver City, and he scored a touchdown and or two touchdowns tonight for them. Back to pass, pass, man out there, caught wide open. We're in the corner of the end zone, 47-22. The Mules lead, and Stats here, and it's Mule Chew 47-22 by district victory over the Denver City Mustangs. The Mules now move up 
to nine and two on the season. Denver City ends her season at six and five. The Mules will play next week against uh, Eastland and uh, where is it? Snyder in Snyder, and we don't have the time on that yet. Okay, here are the final stats for Denver City. They had 16 out of 36 passing for 171 yards, one touchdown pass, two interceptions, 131 yards, or 130 yards rushing for Denver City. That gives uh, Denver City a total of 301 yards against the Mules tonight. They had uh, 16 first downs and 30 yards in penalties. The Mules had uh, 15 out of 34 passing for 111 yards, and then they had one yard added. I think Sanchez passed for one yard, so they had 112 yards on the ground. Rush for 401 yards. Uh, Junior Baca had uh, 226 yards running, 117 yards running for Caleb Wood, and then 53 more for Ray Martinez, and they picked up uh, five from Basir at the end of the game. So the Mules had 401 yards rushing, 112 yards passing, a total of 512 yards, and I had them with uh, 34 first downs, or uh, 34 first downs, uh, 65 yards in penalties. And, Bob, I believe that's the stats for this game. Big win for the Mules, and they move on.